Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Uh, this time we will be playing Blacklight Retribution. Uh, this is a first person team based, generally speaking, FPS game. Uh, much along the lines of like Modern Warfare uh, multiplayer or Battlefield games, that type of thing. But yeah, it's a very, very fun game. It's free on Steam. And yeah, if you like those kinds of games, I would highly recommend downloading it because there's a lot of fun customization options you have, and generally it's just an overall good time. So this isn't going to be a standard Let's Play per se, since there's really no beginning or end to it. It's just basically um, various... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> I'm terrible at thinking of words. Uh, basically, I've just... Uh, different team-based matches and things like that. Matches, that's the word I'm thinking of. Uh, and that just shows how much I know about this stuff. But, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably do one match per video. They're really short. They're 10-minute matches, regardless of the type of match you do. There's the standard, uh, like, team deathmatch or deathmatch or capture the flag or capture the capture point and things like that. So, um, regardless of what you pick, they're all 10 minutes long. So they're going to be pretty short videos, and um, yeah, I'll be posting them every Friday. I'll probably post two at a time, generally speaking. So yeah. So uh, in this video, this one's just going to be more of an introductory video, um, going over some of the stuff pre-playing a match. Uh, there's, uh, let's take a look at the screen, I guess, to start with that. So we have some news and upcoming events and things like that in this panel. Uh, we have our different types of, basically these are uh, missions that you can do to get, unlock uh, various things like in this count, uh, particular mission. You get the contract pack which gives you um, a loadout slot for three days and 1000 GP which is the in-game uh, currency. Um, since this game is free to play, they do have a cash shop. Uh, it's called Zen. This game is made by Perfect World, by the way. And, <clears throat> yeah, so a lot of the items, more cosmetically speaking, you have to pay Zen to uh, real cash money, basically, to unlock them. Other things like guns and the various accessories you can put on guns, you can either unlock by doing these missions or by purchasing them with in-currency or in-game currency. So we'll go over some of that in a little bit here. Um, yeah, so let's start with, well, let's see here. I guess there's not really a whole lot here to go over, so let's start in the customization because there's a lot to customize. It's pretty sweet, actually. You have the um, cash shop, which costs real money to buy stuff profile level things um and I guess I never really even looked at this before do I have any titles um huh I guess I don't have any titles anyway uh emblems which is this little patch on my sleeve here you can customize those so you can change it to like that and then you can change the colors to something different thing I don't know that's pretty cool so I was actually kind of looking at what I was doing here because I kind of was just taking uh, kind of like it let's see uh, anyway sorry about that sorry for the uh, choppy uh, commentary here it's just taking a look at some of this stuff because it's pretty cool how you can customize just about everything on your character. Um, emotes. You can buy those. A lot of these are awards by basically doing missions. Uh, if it's yellow like this, you have to buy it with Zen. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I have to be level 25, I see. But, yeah. Different announcer types. Voices, character voices, nodes, which are basically 
um, passive, I believe. These are passive abilities that you can uh, use. So, like right now, I have a data node uncommon rank 1, EMP recovery plus 6%, and this one, as you can see down at the bottom, there, I guess I can't <laughs> move my mouse down there, but it says basically duration of a day once I equip it. So that'll last for a full 24 hours once I socket it into uh, the node socket here, which I can do by just doing that. And then you have hero level things. Uh, you can actually customize your own, which is what I did. This is this is me. Uh, you can pick different heroes, which costs money to unlock. In this case, it costs 2,000 Zen which is real money to unlock this person or you can get these two for instance for I think doing certain missions so there's the various types of heroes here and they're actually some of them are pretty cool looking actually or normal looking depending on what you're going after I personally like the look of that but I'm sure a lot of people do as well, so... <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, that's you can customize your hero like that, but I'm just going to use me. And, oh boy, what's going on? Oh boy, leg. Come on, come back. Come back to me, there you go. Alright, and you can customize your armor, you can get different helmets. So like this one is actually in current... Um, in game currency you can buy it permanently for 5,000 GP or a week long you can have it for a week for 1100 GP or you can use real money of course oh man what's going on come on man but there's different helmets they all look a little different oh no cancel that cancel I hit the wrong button there we go and again some of these are very unique and cool looking and they all give different stats, as you can see up here, this little section here. This one will give me some more stamina and some more run speed, for instance. That one will give a lot more uh, uh, increased abilities or attributes. But yeah, some of them are just kind of neat and very cool. It just kind of goes to show how much you can really customize your character if you put the time into this game. Time and sometimes money if you want to do that. I personally won't be probably putting very much money of any into this game, so I usually have the patience to um, slowly work my way to the things I want. So, but yeah, these are the different um, armor types basically, chest armor. And they have boots, which all look very different, I think. There we go, like that's totally different. I think some of them are the same, but maybe a bit, a little bit better ranking of the same one. I haven't taken a whole, whole lot of look at this stuff because I never haven't had enough money to actually make it worth my while to uh, take a real good long look at it. And then you have uh, the little, oh yeah, these little uh, shoulder badges, which I don't know if I'll be able to unlock those because some will look like this one looks like it's a beta beta one. And then, hmm, not sure. Anyway, just equip the normal nothing. And then you can customize the actual overall look of your gear. So you can just have it like normal, just plain colors. I have this little urban, I think, or no, it's called daylight. And then there's just different types of camouflages, basically. And some of them are really, I like a lot, some of these a lot. But again, these are all paid for by Zen. If you hover over, you can see that there's no option for in-game money. So if you want to use a different... Uh, style you have to use in game or I mean uh, real money to purchase them which is kind of a bummer because some of these are really cool but I know they have to make their money so I can't blame them for having to limit some things to just 
to just real currency. But there's a lot of different options here, as you can see. Almost done here with the list. And there's a couple here that... I think these blue ones, like I said, I think these are mission related, doing a certain certain mission or a certain type of mission. So they're not all completely locked, but basically they're completely locked for the most part. Now you can customize your various gear. So I have nothing. Um, I can put this repair tool on, which I will do. So that gives me a little bit more, I think. It gives me the ability to, let's see, I'm not even sure what it does. Repair and refer reinforce friendly mechanical targets or an ammunition pod. Use to place am ammo refill crates for your allies. Actually, that's more that's more useful than the other one. Um, then there's another. There's five gear slots. I don't know how you unlock these other two yet. I haven't played that much of it to learn how to do some of this stuff. But right now, I just have a grenade and a combat knife. Um, you can have various types of grenades or other skills that will allow you to um, basically do better in the game so like a stun mine that might be helpful actually if you can use mines uh, tactically speaking if you know how to do that I'm not really good at that kind of stuff I just like to rush in and die a lot <laughs> generally speaking but as you can see again there's lots of different options for what you can equip on your character and then these will all be the same thing. Uh, same options, just a different gear slot, basically. Uh, there's a thing in the game called a depot where you can buy, uh, as you play through the round, you can purchase stuff for yourself to help you uh, basically give you a little bit of an edge in the battle. Like, there's this hard suit, which is... Why is it not going to the one I want? I don't know. But anyway, like a hard suit, I think, is actually like basically a, a little bit of like a mech that you can ride around in and shoot people with that. And there's like turrets and things. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Flamethrowers and rocket launchers and all sorts of cool stuff. I'm not sure why it's showing that kind of stuff, but whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so this depot is the options that you would have once you unlock certain things while you're playing in the match. Because you gain currency during the match that you can use and go to the depot and uh, purchase that stuff with in-game currency. And then you have it throughout the match and at the end of it you don't have it anymore basically is what they're saying. Um, and then the weapons. So every weapon you get <clears throat> can be customized even further than just the basic weapon. So... We can go through some of those. You can change your loadouts. You have various loadouts. I don't know. Hmm. Looks like you have the different loadouts you have to buy with real money. Which, again, I don't know. Like, for me personally, I'm really not good at this game, so I don't know what the purpose for me to buy the different loadouts. Maybe different situations might call for a different weapon, but I don't know. Again, I'm not very good at this game, so... It probably, like to me, it's just whatever. This regular gun is fine for me and my little sidearm. But as you can see, you can uh, get a, basically it's a rifle of a type. And you can start with the basic one, which was what I had. Or you can buy other ones, which you can buy for, um, basically for the most part, I think all of these you can purchase with in-game money and you can have them for a week. So... If you play enough, basically you can have a gun permanently. You just have to rebuy it every single week, which is kind of a bummer. But, I mean, again, you'd have it long enough where you'd be able to enjoy it. And then if you don't like it, you just switch up for a different weapon. But as you can see, there's all sorts of different types of weapons. There's, you know, sniper rifles. There's, um, let's see, I think this is a... Oh, this is a burst fire rifle. Okay, I think there's like grenade launchers and rocket launchers and things. But as you can see, they're all very different. And even though they're different, actually, I think this is using the mods or the uh, mod, the mod, the custom modifications that I 
have on my current gun. So that's why they look they'll look kind of similar to my original gun. But there's a lot of different guns and they're all very different. Like that one's kind of a almost like a chain gun almost or a I don't know. I don't know why my game is slowing down so much. I'm not even like doing anything. I'm just in the <laughs> customization. Ah, uh, come on. But So, yeah, so that kind of gives you an idea of the different weapons. Um you can also, if I can get there, customize all the individual parts on your weapon. So like for instance the receiver is the actual gun itself and then the muzzle is the muzzle like just this little bit and you can get different types that will do different things and give you different um, uh, added abilities to your gun like more damage or less recoil or maybe different types of uh, damage types. I think there's like maybe army armor piercing and things like that. So. Yeah. One moment. This is not... I don't understand why this is not going well. Okay, apologies for that. Um, not sure why my game kept slowing down, but hopefully I fixed that. But yeah, so there's these different muzzle types. Um, again, I haven't purchased too many of them. You get some of these things through winning matches and uh, leveling up, too. So, um, the ones that I currently have, I think I just got by just leveling up, and then it came in a, like, special level up bonus, basically, but you can buy these, like, with in-game currency, which is really nice. Um, they don't limit everything to just real money, which I appreciate the, especially getting it for a permanent time limit. So anyway, that's the muzzles, and then the barrels, the barrel. <laughs> as best as I can explain. Um, again, different ones do give you different uh, different uh, stats based on what it is. So like this one, I mean, this helps a lot with your recoil and when you scope in and your uh, limits the spread, that kind of thing of your shots. Makes it a little more accurate, but yeah, I mean, again, like, uh, that's what I really like about this game is just how much customization you can actually do and how, for the most part, I mean, every player will have a different type of gun for the, um, maybe not necessarily the the actual, like, gun itself, but all these extra little pieces that you can put on the gun will be different. And the clip you can change and it affects all sorts of different things, how much ammo you have, your re reload speed your I mean even run stats it's just, I mean it's just they affect so many, many different things they wouldn't even think they would affect even though it's just a clip the clip in your gun like that one adds yep does periodic damage so that's like fire damage and yeah so I mean and we're only at the magazine we still have the scope which I have this one equipped it's an actual scope where you zoom like you can kind of zoom in a little bit and then they have obviously different types of scopes you can have. There's a big sniper scope, a regular kind of laser point one. And that's kind of the standard one that everybody gets. So, I mean, there's even different types of scopes that do different things. I think mine actually shows nearby players uh, with little dots on the scope itself. So, they're very cool. And they just add a little bit more, um, again, it gives you a little bit of an advantage on the playing field. Like, once I added my scope that I currently have in on my uh, gun, I found that I was much more accurate and I was actually doing much better in my matches. I was getting a few more kills per match, which is pretty unheard of for me. So, in the stock you can upgrade, and there's all sorts of different stocks. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Or I keep hitting the purchase button. <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's all sorts of different stacks from high tech ones to normal looking ones to weird ones. And again, they all give you different stats. 
And then there's these little weapon takes which you can buy. Or like I got mine through doing matches and leveling up. So again, not everything you have to buy. Some of it you get for free. So all these ones that are in white are ones I currently have. So some of them you get for free for doing missions or um, leveling up. Or you can, of course, pay real money, which looks like most of these, everything in yellow is going to just be real money, it looks like. So, yeah, but they'll, again, those give different stats. And then, similar to your outfit, you can change your gun, the look of, overall look of your gun. So, you can just have standard issue looking, daylight, which would match my current outfit. And right now, I just have the concrete gray, because I kind of like how it looks. But, yeah, and again, these are all cosmetic ones, so to pay real money for it, I don't mind that because it doesn't give you an edge. It's just cosmetic. <clears throat> and, yeah, I mean, you can buy all those other tags and all these other things with real money, and that might give you a little bit of an edge with your overall stats. But I found that every single time I've played, I don't really feel like anyone has a definitive edge necessarily like they don't I mean some people I think are just ne um, better and that could be because of their gear but I think this is much more um, skill level based how well you play because I've taken down some really I think higher I mean for sure I've taken on higher level players which have much better gear than me and I have taken them down without too much of a struggle so yeah, so I don't think, even though you can buy this stuff with real money, it's not a pay-to-win game. It's definitely, if you play enough and get better, you're just as competitive as everyone else, which I really appreciate because I don't like the pay-to-win model. I think it's dumb, and I don't think it does anything to help anybody. Um, yeah, and then you have these other things. Uh, you have your inventory, which I have quite a bit of stuff. This is just where all of your stuff that you've collected is held. Uh, it tells you how long it will last. So, like, the, my site is for a day. Uh, other stuff is permanent. Other things I can't even use because I'm not quite that level yet. Uh, and then you can just kind of uh, filter them out a little bit. To make sure that you're actually using your whatever you have in your inventory, you have to activate it. So, if I... Let's see... There we go. Oh, maybe I can't. Hmm. Thought I could deactivate them, but I think once you activate them, they're just there. You can't deactivate them. But, yep. So, this is the social menu. Sorry, I kind of forgot that it opens up a whole new menu. But, yeah, so this is your social menu. You can have your profile. Um, I'm currently level 6. It really doesn't take that long to get this high. I'm going to keep using my character even though I'm level 6. So, for better or for worse, I don't even know. I think the level max is 50, so I've got plenty of game time left for this character. Um, this gives my stats, which are horrid. 13% <laughs> accuracy. Um, I do more assisting than I do actual kills. I have 139 deaths. Yeah, I am definitely not... A good player. Point for two kill to death ratio. I have 58 kills, but 140 deaths. So <laughs> that gives you any idea of um, what kind of player I am. There it is, in all of its brutal truth. Um, and here's the various state game types: team deathmatch, kill confirmed, capture the flag, dominion, king of the hill, and deathmatch. Um, it shows the type of let's see I haven't really actually looked at those too much huh interesting but again all sorts of stats you can look at which I love stats I'm a stats junkie I love uh, seeing every all my little things that I've done that's always fun to watch or look at um, let's see, what else? Okay, so this basically, uh, generally it's stats and, like, you can find other players, you can see your friends online. Here's the shop, your inventory, the nodes that you have. Um, 
And then here, there's, here's the missions. And as you can see, I've completed a couple already. Uh, these, some of these are day long, like this particular one is a day long. Some of them are week long. I don't know how long they actually go with some of these, but let's see if I can find anything longer than that. Hmm. But yeah, so I mean, there's, as you can see, there's all sorts of missions and they all reset after a certain time. So you're, if you play enough, you're constantly getting rewards for various things. And a lot of the rewards are stuff that you can, you have to pay for with real money, but you, it might be a shorter duration. So if you play enough, you can actually start picking up some of this stuff that you might normally have to pay for with real money. So it's kind of cool. Um, up here is your mail, how many friends are online, your your uh, emblem, my name, level. Let's see, agent level six. Hmm. I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any money or any titles unlocked yet. That shows how many, how much I've actually not played. But again, that kind of just your various things they've collected along the way of while you play. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let's see, what else can we look at? That's the social menu. Um, they, I think these are recently added. I don't remember this. I haven't played in a little while. It's been a, like a month or two since I've actually played this game. And I don't remember seeing these in the menu the last time I played, so I don't know if these are somewhat recent or if I just never noticed them, but you can learn how to play the game with training or you can just practice against bots. And this is actually, this actually really helped me. Um, I played a round or two of this before I actually played against real people just to kind of brush up on my skills and uh, kind of just learn how to be a little bit better player. And this actually really helped a lot. So if you're new to the game, I would say do these two first, start with the training and then do you know a few practice rounds. You don't get anything out of them other than some experience. And the bots that they use really aren't that difficult. I mean, still die a few times, but it's not. You get more kills than you die, which, generally speaking, is kind of nice. But yeah, so um, let's see anything else that I can think of before I call this a video. I don't think so, because I just wanted to show this, use this video as kind of a an overview of how the game worked, what you can customize, the different types of matches. Because in the coming videos, I'm just basically gonna jump right into the match, and um, there won't be a whole lot of like intro or anything. I'm just gonna jump right in and just do the match, and then that'll pretty much be the video. So. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of boring. It's just a uh, let's get to know the game a little bit. Let's introduce the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, again, sorry for the lag that was in the game. Not sure what happened there. But, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you in the next video of Blacklight Retribution. Until then.